Yo, what's going on, friends? I can't believe this is happening. Full disclosure, when we tried to do this last time, my internet got cut right as I hit record. But now <laughs> I defy the internet gods. I am here now. It's Sean the Butcher in Madness Pod with my man Vertebrae33. What's going on? Hey, what's happening, Sean? I, I would ask you how you're doing, but I kind of already know how you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm i in a new location. I am in a new house. Uh, there is a lot of hecticness going on. I have back issues. I can't sit to do the podcast. I have to stand to do the podcast. I'm on three hours of sleep right now we are going full-blown adult this is probably what life was like for you when you had uh, a kid and all that like yeah like, yeah this is yeah. you're going through yeah we're here but you know your hair looks fantastic though. thank you like, thank yeah, you the yeah. beard i haven't Coming shaved in like three months all, all the people listening are like well, what are they talking about so you could see it on youtube if we put it on youtube maybe this doesn't even make youtube yeah so and no one will ever know what this is, this is a very special episode. Today is not a full-blown movie review. We're calling this episode 13.5 of <laughs> In Madness Pod. Uh, you may notice it's a bit shorter. It's not our what have become two-and-a-half-hour tirades on movies. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, but those are always <laughs> well in-depth. This is going to be a shorter episode. Uh, we're not going to be reviewing a movie this week. We're definitely going to be doing it for the next episode, I promise. And we, we can tease to- that. We can tease that if yes. I remember what movie. It's, it's, I, yeah, do. I do. I, I, remember, yeah, yeah. I remember what movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we're, sorry. Again, we've we've kind of run the gamut here. We're trying to get an episode in so we don't miss. Um, it'll be a huge episode the next one we do. So you can take your break and get caught up on all the other two hour, hour and 40 minute episodes. The next one probably will be a long one as well. Um, also say just this 0.5 format. Shorties. It, it intrigues me. And, and I'll, and I'll say this to you here for the first time. Mm. I have a thought that if we can get back on a roll that we do 0.5 episodes periodically, and maybe we do them on the off week of, the movie episode i'm down and with that I, I don't know we could see if it works or we could dive in but rather than it fill in for a full episode every two mm-hmm. weeks mm-hmm. uh it could just be kind of a quick touch base if we get emails or we get reviews we could read them we could catch up on what we've watched that week we could catch up on bloody disgusting news or anything that came out from fright rags or cavity colors or you know we can kind of hit thanks for heart. sending me that uh godzilla cavity colors drop you know i saw it already you know i was up last night at 11 30 looking yes. at that new godzilla shirt like do i buy this or a new dryer so yes and full full disclosure on that every single time i send you something on social media that's godzilla related i know before i hit send i saw it, it already <laughs> It's like a simple way of just instead of texting you to be like, hey, man, you see that shirt that's really cool. I just sent it to you and I know you like it. And like we're the shirt I have right now is from Iceland. And like the famous animal in Iceland is the puffin. And this is a puffin Godzilla size puffin crushing people. That's fantastic. It's one of my favorite shows. So uh, what we're doing for this episode is something very special, something we promised. Uh, and and we're we're up to fulfilling our promises on in madness pod. Uh, we promised a prize pack to somebody three episodes ago. Well, 3.5 episodes ago um, <laughs> for the myth. Uh, you propose that someone, one of the listeners, one of the amazing listeners of In Madness Pod, write their own closer to the yes. mist. And whichever one we decide, I'm just to say whichever one vertebrae decides. It was his idea. I'm leaving it up to him. Who he decides the winner will be will get an amazing In Madness uh, prize pack, which I don't even know what it consists of. But I did give you some stickers when you helped me move. Thank you for helping me move. Uh, yes. So you could throw some Sean the Butcher stickers in, into the prize pack, but yeah, I'm I'm take a picture of it before you send it because I want to see what's going in this. Oh, set. we're gonna put in some uh, some goodies in there. I got all kinds of stuff. There's gonna be T-shirts, so the person's gonna have to send in their shirt size. Um, we'll, we will get in contact with the winner. Yeah, yeah. Um, stickers. I got buttons. I'll I'll dig around, see what other things I have. I'll, I'll throw some good. We'll make a nice little goodie pack for them because we really appreciate 
people taking the time to write us and reach out to us. And listen, thank you on the socials at In Madness Pod. We have the YouTube channel. We have the In Madness playlist. It's in the description for all of our episodes, all the info. Uh, I was just looking through our list of episodes we've done. I'm looking forward to the list of episodes we got coming up. Uh, but I assure everyone, because I've been told, so everyone's listening, not all the reviews are always, you guys are killing it. Some people are like, oh, you're straying a little bit from the horror, huh? Because a lot, a lot of people thought our Batman episode was horror enough. Mm. And he solidified the fact that the Batman's a horror movie. But even with Lucy, I'm sorry. I apologize for Lucy. <laughs> it is clear to me that I love that movie. Really. I enjoyed Lucy. And I, got, yeah. I got a couple of DMs that was like, dude, I hated that movie uh, but i love the podcast episode and i'm like i'm sorry i thought it was a great movie they hate it's gonna happen. The movie. That's, from that's, time to time that's uh, strong. yeah yeah Listen, we 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 firmly established that the science is gobbledygook <laughs> but the movie is a lot of fun I love it. I'm still going to rewatch it. I'm still going to love it. Uh, but thank you if you listened to the Lucy episode, whether you liked it or not. Uh, if you were as gullible as my ass is. If you learned that it's the Sistine Chapel and not the 16th <laughs> Chapel. We have established a new bit from that. Sean Facts. Sean Facts. Uh, but boy, yeah, did I find out that there were a lot of people who did not love Lucy as much as I did. But well, I know I know you enjoyed it, but you also smashed every single theory to bits which is <laughs> which was a stark reality for me because i was like oh morgan's right he's figured out the 100 percent brain theory yeah i i got i got on a roll with that and it, not out of a negativity though right no, I, of course very clear, never out of good fun but i couldn't let you know couldn't let those fa facts just sway in the wind you know, so I was listening to them. the episode because I'm like, I guess, call it self-obsessed. And I love listening to see what we do and how we could always develop and be better. And I'm sitting there listening and I'm like, damn, you know who Lucy reminds me of? Dr. Manhattan from The Watchmen, oh. which I feel is kind of like a more effective because like you were saying, you didn't like the drug element, how it was like how drugs made her and, and like mm -hmm. instead of like and, and Dr. Manhattan, like he went through this whole thing and he reformed his cells and he became like he could become a god. Uh, and I was like, damn, I was like, I should have made that point, but it didn't occur to me until I was listening. I was like, Lucy oh. and Dr. Manhattan, I feel like. And then right afterwards. You were like, we got to do the Watchmen. I knew it. I knew that was what your brain. Yo, doing. I think the Watchmen is on the list. It is. And it's so funny because I'm sitting here saying, you know, we were talking about Marvel and DC movies. I think the Watchmen is the best superhero movie ever created. Like, And I think we, we, we probably should try to get a guest for that one. Because yeah, I think all, we could, all three hours of it. We could use some help diving into the comic piece of it as well. Not that I haven't read the comic a bunch of times, but I think we... We should look into that. You know, the contest that we floated out there, I didn't realize when we did the Mist episode um, that there's a black and white version of the Mist. Mm. So it's on the Blu-ray. So I watched it. So now I've cool. seen it for the million oh, times. This too, yeah. Um, and it's up. Oh, look at that. Look I'm at reading that. it. I'm on page... 141 there you go they just went next door to the to the pharmacy and boy did they regret it <laughs> he he just had his affair with mom too yo and it's so funny because like the kids crying and sleeping and dad's like it's been a day and i'm like a day it took yeah. it i'm like you didn't even wait i was nope. so yeah, no, crazy. No. That it that it kind of took me out of it. I kind of I think I like it's a little bit more in the book. But and if you're if you're unsure, we're talking about listen to our episode, read the book, watch the movie. But the, the black and white version of the mist, so cool, yeah. just so cool looking, just so stark and 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 just gives it a different. Oh, so wait, theme. same movie, just black and white. Yes. <gasps> Oh, so like so, Lighthouse. and 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 Frank Darabont says that's his favorite version of the film, oh, the director I, of the film, and it I, is, it takes it from like seventies ish horror, you know, eighties ish horror, to like a fifties sixties like classic horror kind of look because it's really dark. All the stuff in the back when the tentacles first come in and uh, amazing. So anyone out there hasn't seen it, I heard about it after or during the research and hadn't seen it so i didn't mention it but i i got a chance to watch it yeah, it's pretty fantastic. 
And just really quick, I mean, I just wanted to highlight some other stuff. This is why I like these 0.5s, because this is stuff I could just might not or might forget to bring up during an episode. Just like nerdy shit, uh, uh, I see they're putting out like a new Mortal Kombat game. My entire Twitter feed is the new Mortal Kombat game that's coming out, and I am obsessed with Mortal Kombat. I love the characters. I love the violence. I love all that. And yeah, like that's what I've been getting really hyped on is that new Mortal Kombat. Anytime a new Mortal Kombat comes out, uh, I'm all over it. But I also wanted to say that there is a death metal band called Gates to Hell. Okay. And they are obsessed with Mortal Kombat. They're a death metal band from Louisville, Kentucky. They're on tour right now. They just announced a tour with Black Dahlia Murder. Uh, they're also playing a tour with Vomit Forth and Sangua Sugabog, who is my band of this wait, wait, year. Wait, 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 wait. Stop for a second. Sangua Stop. Sugabog. Because and I got to show you the logo. Is that correct? That yeah. pronunciation? Yeah. I, 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 Everybody debates me on it, but I'm almost positive that it's Sanguisugabog. They say it's Sanguisugabog. I, I don't understand. But... You you forget that the the water guy is named Ward in Colorado Space, but you can pronounce this. It's because it's part of my job because wow. I do I do I do talk about them every day on the radio. Uh, their album of the year, Homicidal Ecstasy. Check out Sanguisugabog, and that's what I was going to say. Is that Gates to Hell, Vomit Forth, and Sanguisugabog playing uh, Amityville Music Hall, uh, Long Island, uh, August. The 11th i'm gonna be out at that show but gates to hell have a like a shirt and it's the mortal Kombat dragon and it says gates mm -hmm. to hell on the bottom and then the back it says louisville brutality and i'm like that is so oh. fucking cool maybe, so I'll, maybe, maybe i gotta hell. maybe i Yo. gotta go to this show so every year amityville music hall does what i call the death metal bonanza last year it was suffocation undeath sanguisugabog uh, internal bleeding, Long Island zone, and this this year it's this vomit fourth Sanguisugaba Gates to Hell show. I cannot wait. I'm going to interview all the bands. Take I'm going to take pictures, like the whole deal. Uh, it's going to be the show of the year for me. So I just wanted to shout out Gates to Hell and that new Mortal Kombat. And I was like thinking of movies. I'm stoked for like the Boogeyman. I kept seeing posters for it and everything, uh -huh. and it's out now. But like yeah. I haven't heard anything about it, so I don't know yeah. if it's any good or not. Yeah, well, it's June for me, so this is Indiana Jones month for me. So it's oh. Indiana Jones is coming out. So that's the the, the horror people are really gonna get mad now when I when I said it. But uh, yeah, it's all about this uh, Indiana Jones that's that's coming out this month. But I will say too, uh, one of our guests that was recent, right? Our second guest that was on, Chef Brian. Yeah, but he he's got a show coming up too, right? Doesn't his band have a show coming? Oh, up? Oh, Lost Becomes. They got a whole tour coming up. Actually, shout out to Lost Becomes. Shout out to Mission Sandwich. Shout out to Chef Brian. Uh, check out our menu episode if you have not. One of my favorite episodes yet. Uh, way more liked of a movie than Lucy was apparently. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, his he's got a couple of shows at Amityville Music Hall. I'm not sure if they're going to be up by the time this episode airs. Maybe, probably. Uh, but yeah, check out Lost Becomes, check out Chef Brian's band, check out Chef Brian's restaurant, Mission Sandwich, check out the Hail Sean Sandwich. And I mean, it's it's been so crazy. Our whole purpose was for me and you to link up and go to Mission in Brooklyn sometime during the duration of the two weeks of that episode. And shit has been so crazy that we didn't even get a chance to meet up. No, so. no sandwich. Man, me. but I am fiending. I, you follow, you got to follow Mission Sandwich on Instagram. I do. Every time I do. it pops up, dude, I'm fiending for a Mission Sandwich. I'm going there soon, definitely. And you know, the sad part is, is I just wanted to go in there and um, ask for substitutions. Oh, yeah. No, there are no <laughs> substitutions at Hawthorne. Or sauce on the side. Or, you know, and also, if you listen to that episode, like, there's beef stew in your future, and I have to be there for that beef stew. I 100% have to be there for that beef stew. I am the anti-soup campaign. Yeah, I need Hot to liquids are meant for bathing and cleaning in, not <laughs> eating. You know, before we do the... the um. The winners of the mist. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you ask me almost every episode, uh, pretty much all of them. If I've got something, do you have that soundtrack on vinyl? Okay, on vinyl, yeah. I'm often like, oh, they don't have, you know, I do or they don't have it yet. But I did get a couple. Okay, because I know Lucy there. didn't have a soundtrack. And so I first got this one, and I've talked to you about, uh, and oh my you can see it if it's on YouTube, Werewolf by Night. Okay, soundtrack, this sick. Soundtrack, which is amazing. Uh, but this is the one that you will probably pop for the most. Yeah, the menu soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, so fantastic yes, score. Yep. So we got the menu 
menu soundtrack this. very cool oh yeah, yeah. This, this podcast is just gonna make you collect so much shit man yeah it's unfortunate this is, <laughs> this is where i get in trouble for my spending right here yeah. i think you already have everything to own from the episode we're gonna do next so hopefully that should be settled yes yeah. yes i do yeah, yeah. Well, we're good we're good there already do you want to i'm super excited do you want to read let's roll so we're gonna oh, get wait, it wait, before we do that one yeah. more thing just yeah. i apologize uh for the lucy episode there was, there was like <laughs> not enough morgan freeman in that episode i listened back and there the was one time the there entire was. time you were like all right you can do it now and i yeah. just i just i failed no, at my job okay. i failed i failed at picking the movie i'm not going to pick movies no. for a little while i'm no, going to leave the no. movie picking up to you because the lucy was that's probably why my back hurts because right. i swung so hard on the lucy one and missed completely and it blew my back out maybe someday we can discuss the movie that never was Oh no, please. <laughs> I know now never to take notes on a movie unless you've seen it already. <laughs> uh, on a very special episode of In Madness Pod. Yeah. Uh, are you ready? So we have um, our missed contest. Episode 10 was a huge one for us. Um, we asked listeners to send us a response, either a DM at in madness pod on the socials or in madness pod at gmail.com, write your own ending. And, you know, vertebrae was like, it's a cop out saying the movie ending was the best ending. I still don't know the ending to the book. And you said the ending to the book, you left it up to like, it was the one thing in this whole podcast that we didn't spoil. Mm -mm. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the end, the actual ending of the book, but there I know go. the ending of the movie and I'm still calling it one of the greatest endings of all time. Um, but you asked people to write their own. So we have out of the hundreds, perhaps even thousands of submissions that we received at in madness pod and in madness pod at gmail.com. We picked our favorite three. Yes. So I'm going to read all three endings to you. And then maybe we could deliberate for a little bit and then we'll pick a winner and then uh, we'll get the hell out of here. And we'll get ready for episode 14. That sounds great. So uh, our first submission, uh, it comes from uh, Capozzi. We'll call him Anthony Capozzi, Lil T. <laughs> how i would end the mist he says everyone's sitting in the car as you know david drayton he gets away with a couple people in the car the kid wakes up <laughs> and he sees dad <laughs> and his new mom crying <laughs> <laughs> very well worded all of a sudden tentacles crawl all over the car everyone gets out but not the kid oof the kid is eaten in the destruction of the car and what have you and what have you <laughs> emotional and falling apart. The father shoots his new love interest while sobbing, kills the extra people in the car, goes to shoot himself in the gun jams. He keeps trying, but nothing happens much like when he's got the frigging gun in his mouth and he's pulling the trigger in the movie. He starts firing wildly and still nothing. Then he gets hit with a shot from the tank that appears and is wounded, bleeding out on the side of the road. So I guess he survives. Or does he? Or does he? Who knows? Uh, so that was Kaposi's submission, which I kind of like that. Yeah. I like I like that everyone gets out of the car except the kid and like he kind of gets pulled in by the tentacle monsters. Yeah. It's kind of brutal. Yep. Um, it was so funny. I don't. I don't know if I told you. Maybe I did text you. I asked my buddy at work. I was like, "Who's your favorite monster in the mist?" And he said, "Miss Carmody." And I was like, oh! "That's amazing." <laughs> yes. Best answer ever. Okay, so out of we have our second of hundreds, possibly thousands of submissions comes from Idrin. I believe I'm pronouncing this right. I apologize. Idrin says, hey, yo, hey, yo, what up, Idrin? Love really that. Dig really digging the podcast. Just finished the missed episode. I would make a couple of changes to the ending. Okay, Idrin, let's see what you got. They run out of gas. David checks the gun. He has just enough bullets for everyone in the car, including himself. Okay. So that one to Miss Carmody's head didn't screw them over, I suppose. A few monsters begin surrounding the car. One of them crashes against the window. 
David panics, shoots, and kills it. One less bullet. Okay, oh. so I guess that could be the Carmody bullet. The other creatures are surrounding the vehicle, but they aren't attacking. David proceeds to, one by one, kill each person in the car. Moments later, the military rolls up, rolls up burns out the creatures, and David is left with nothing but guilt. The end. Hmm. That would at least give them a more urgent reason to suicide themselves, but it might take away from some of the gr- regret David feels. Anyway, the podcast is great. Can't wait for more episodes. Thanks, oh. Adrian. Hope you dug the Lucy episode. <laughs> <laughs> Please tune in for it. <laughs> um, I like that one too. That's kind of similar to the ending that they have, but yeah, that yes. slight that slight change does alter things a little but bit. But I did I noticed when they say one less bullet. Mm-hmm. Right, it it started get me thinking because we we talked about that. Um, if if they had established there were that many and there were no more in advance, and he was getting attacked, and there was almost like a countdown to bullets, like oh, I have three left, and I had to use one here. That could be interesting too. Um, that got me thinking. But great, thank you, and we love the feedback on the podcast too. Thank you very much. Hell yes, and then we have our final. Out of the thousands of submissions, we have Melina Sarmento. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly again. She I says, mean, it's safe to say we're going, if you send us an email or a comment, we're probably going to butcher your name. Uh, and, and we don't take it personally. If you listen to more than one episode, you know we do. That's almost everybody's names. So appreciate it. I don't even know the people's names in the movie, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I thought it was Sean Facts. Sean Facts. Sean Facts. I thought it was the 16th Chapel. Uh, I'm not going to read your name correctly. I'm sorry. Uh, the missed alternate ending from Melina Sarmento. Scene picks up with the kid, Billy, waking up in the back. Of course he's waking up. All he does yeah. is sleep. Even oh, in the book, like you said, all he does is sleep. Dad, David, looks at him through tears, knowing these are their last moments. Oof, brutal. But when Billy looks back at him, something is off. He sets down the gun, immediately concerned. Oh, no. Mm. I didn't read this beforehand. I'm just telling you. Where is this going? Dad, I don't feel good. No. Wait, what's happening? Before David can respond, (gasps) Billy's eyes roll back, his body convulsing. Shut up. Billy, Billy. David grabs his son by the shoulders. Yo, this is crazy. Ollie and Lori are frozen, unsure of what to do. Billy Billy goes still. David, he says, in a myriad of voices. Did I say that correctly? Yes. All of them too deep for a child. Whoa. Yeah. It's good to see you got the message despite shooting the messenger. What? Mm. Billy, David shakes his son. Not quite, Billy says. He's still here, but the sooner you blow out his brains, the sooner we can return to our home. (gasps) David says, I don't understand. Opening the door requires a sacrifice, and not any will serve. You must kill your son to send us back. Do it now. And so what do we have? We have, and, and I read this one a few times, we have to, to save humanity. Mm. You sacrifice your son. Yeah. Yeah. Right? One for all. Mm. David screams, don't fuck with my kid. Billy laughs. We tried to make this easier. Now humanity will suffer because of your selfishness. Billy's body goes limp. He's still. Suddenly his eyes go wide as he sits up gasping for air. Dad, what what happened? Sobbing, David clutches his son to his chest. Oh, thank God. I thought you were gone. I love mm. you so much, Billy. I never let anything, I'll never let anything hurt you. Don't worry. It's okay. You're safe. We're not safe, my man, Ali protests. You heard that thing, David. Miss Carmody was right. <gasps> you need to. David hides Billy's face and shoots Ollie in the head. What mm-hmm. is happening? Yeah. <laughs> Lori screams. He looks at her. David, she cries. If those things are telling the truth, I don't care. If they are, he's my son. I can't. I can't live like this, David. Please, I'm sorry. David shoots her before carrying his son out into the mist. The end. Wow. Yes. That's really good. Yes. Shout out to, what is it, Melina Sarmenta. Okay. Wow. 
Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your submissions. Thank you for listening. Thank you for participating. That's the most important part. We want your participation, regardless of prize packs or not. Uh, we love to hear from you about all these movies. These are really creative and awesome endings. And I want to thank the three out of the hundreds, possibly thousands that we selected. Hmm. Uh, did you, I mean, I'll pick mine already. Did you select a winner for the missed alternate ending in madness podcast sweepstakes? Yes. I, I, I picked Molina's ending. Hey, hell yeah. yeah. You can pipe in some crowd cheering. Yeah, I, I could put some sound effects in there. Or like yeah. missed, missed monster sound effects. I just, I just thought it was, they were all great. Um, and they got me thinking, but uh, I just thought this one really took it to kind of the next level and, and left it open too. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know. I just thought it was, I thought it was really cool. So, Reach out to us, uh, Melina. We'll reach out. I'll, I'll send. We have her email. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll send her an email. Let her know that she won, and then we'll get you. Just send me all the info. You need shirt size and all that address. Yeah. And all you're that. so nice. You're like reach out. I'm like, yeah, reach out to us if you want your stuff. Yeah, no, nah, I got that. I'll take care. Yeah, Melina. We're professional Sarmento. operation here. Hell yeah! Shout out to Melina Sarmento, the winner. Hell yeah! Very cool ending. I like that. This was a good idea. I like that you uh, put together a prize pack for them. That's yeah, it's cool. awesome. And I, and I would say we we have a, f a couple a few reviews on Apple um so maybe in a future 0.5 episode we can read those so if you do leave a review on Apple um rather than just a star review if you just write up a couple sentences we will read it uh here on a future episode so, hell yeah or send us an email uh yeah. in madness pod at gmail email, dm it doesn't matter um We'll shout you out. We appreciate you, move, you listening. If you do leave it on Apple, it moves us up their little amazing galactic um, and honestly, podcast charts. I don't even know. More people listening to the episode, um, and we can bring more people into the In Madness family. So and Yeah. I, I honestly don't even know how many people are listening. I try to tell you to keep that information from me because I don't want to know if it's 10, 100, or 1,000 because it's just going to be fun regardless of how many people are listening and yes. checking it out. But tell your friends, if you got friends who are in the horror and you think they should be checking out this podcast and checking out these movies, it really, it really makes me happy when people are like, yo, I haven't watched this movie ever and I went and watched it because you guys talked about it. Or I watched this movie, you know, Signs back in, what is it, 2002 or whatever, mm -hmm. or 2001, uh, and I haven't watched it in 20 years. Uh, so I went and watched it because of the podcast to refresh myself. And that's that's the cool part, nerding out about this nerdy stuff and uh, bringing you back into the world of, of entertaining yourself with these great, great movies, uh, except Lucy. I'm sorry. I, I oh, come on. Saying. Come on. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I, I enjoyed it. Yo, I, Mr. I, Jang. Mr. OK, so I want like Mortal Kombat, right? Right. I want yeah. Mr. Jang versus Miss Carmody. Oh, and I want. Boom! Yeah. I want that. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that, but I don't know—is she killable? Because she's, you know, she's so a holy figure. What? You know? What I was gonna, what I was thinking from Melina's story, right? So, mm -hmm. so the it was the the creatures of the mist possessed Billy. Yes. I, for a second, I thought she was gonna go the Miss Carmody route oh. and be like, they killed Miss Carmody, but like. She possesses, yeah, and like maybe, and then and there's like, oh, is God, is it real? Is it, uh, you know, like wow. she right the whole time? Which you know, she Melina says, you know, Ali says, you know, Miss Carmody was right, but I for a second thought that it was gonna be like Miss Carmody, uh, which would have been even scary as hell, right? Uh, I mean, they could have been pushing her in their minds if we if we go down the path of them having some sort of mind control. Right, or they're using the sun as a vessel of communication. I, I don't know why you'd pick the one kid who's asleep the entire time to communicate <laughs> through. Maybe pick somebody who's awake. Uh, but for sure, uh, that that adds a, a different wrinkle that they they want to go back. Right, that was at the, at the end of the mist, and I know this is mist heavy because we did the contest, but. Um, I kind of wonder the, I always wonder the aftermath. 
Yeah. So I always we wondered about the gate that they got through and and all of that in the in the aftermath of that. So w- did they not want to come here? We opened this up and they were like, "Oh, we're here now," and and they're just being animals. They're doing what they do. Um, did they want to go back? Um, was there a sacrifice to open the gate in the first place? Mm. Right, one to open and and one, one to, to close. close Hey, are we rewriting the mist right now? <laughs> yeah. What if what if uh what if Miss Carmody had a child that was sacrificed to open yeah, the, gate? the mist too? Uh, Mist Carmody. <laughs> it's just so cool. <laughs> what a great contest. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh are there any other things we want to hit? We're pretty we're basically at the time I wanted to go at for this. No, I think I think we're good. This is a quick hitter. I do I do think we should try to do these more often. Yeah. Um, because I think it'd be a good way for just to catch up on what's going on. And since we've gotten the comments about horror and people wanting more of that, I think it might be a good time. You know, I, I thought about off the top of my head, you know, just kind of running through some headlines that were on Bloody Disgusting for the week and talking yeah. about those or the previous week that yeah, happened. It doesn't always have to be movie, no. movie, movie all the time. You want to nerd out about, you know, vinyl like you were showing or toys right. or books, you know, like I got like anything that we got going on, anything that you got going on. What books are you reading right now? Did you get any new vinyl in the mail? We want to see it at In Madness Pod on the socials. Nerd out with us when you get cool shit, when you get toys and when you want I'm play with them we want to see them i want to see all that shit dude somebody just sent me they do they do kaiju wrestling mm-hmm. did you know about this yes i did dude, yep i i want to be a kaiju wrestler <laughs> are you kidding me i can't my back my back i swung too hard on the lucy episode i can't my back <laughs> i want to go i want to see one of these kaiju wrestling events that looks really cool and they set up little little buildings in the ring yeah. and they, they power bomb each other oh yeah them. yeah dude coolest coolest nerd we go. gotta i want to get those dudes on the pod maybe we get them on the pod there that'd you go be sick. that'd be sick do you um, wanna do you want to tease the next episode we are revisiting a director who we have already visited previously on an episode of in madness pod um it's mm. lucy too <laughs> <laughs> more morgan freeman (laughs) sean the butcher (laughs) we are also revisiting uh an actress or actor as you would like to refer to uh that we have also recently reviewed on a very recent episode and a composer as well oh really yes okay cool yeah i mean I, i still don't think we've given it away like we usually do there's animals involved there are well there's <laughs> there's one very prominent yes um and and him and i have something in common oh yeah. and my favorite my favorite thing i remember showing this movie uh to my girlfriend for the first time and when i one of my favorite moments and it was something i shouted baby soup oh that's it that's that's all that, I'm for now that's yeah. my least favorite chop, chop, chop. dude and that oh okay no i'm not gonna say anything i'm not that's gonna say my anything. least favorite scene in the entire movie oh man i'll oh, leave that part i'll leave that part up to you baby soup oh, <laughs> so bad there you go guys you that's complained it. that you didn't get horror so we we're br- we're bringing it to you and we'll, and we gotta, also we'll say, follow that up with the horror one too you know I, I would also say i just thought about it today and i was like i think as we get you know, past July and into August, I think we'll start our run up to Halloween, you know, probably late August, early September. We do got to We do got to hit one of like, you know, we got to get in the Freddy world or the, or the Mike. got to get one of the big ones in yeah. there. Yeah. Um, I I think, you know, whatever, we'll figure it out. But I, I, I would certainly think a, a, we've got to hit a John Carpenter film fairly soon i like your shirt i like your shirt oh, a lot yeah, music, music by john carpenter hell yeah i'll I put this up, up on youtube since we're all showing hey, off yeah hey, since we're showing off all our cool stuff i'll hey, put it up. hey music yeah. by sean john carpenter that's by you can get this t-shirt at i'm gonna do an ad and not get paid for it but sacred bones has this t-shirt for sale pretty cool people um music by john carpenter but i think we should hit that and the last thing i want to say is just 
anyone has a movie that they want us to do, if you listen, right, we get these emails and, and there's, they got ideas and I love the podcast. I'm looking forward to the next episode. Maybe there's a movie you really, really love and you'd love us to, to talk about it. Send those in too. send the suggestions. We'd love to hear it. Um, you can hear how confused I get about things and how I mistake uh, names of chapels and characters and yeah. think these incredible movies or think these other these movies that people think are garbage are incredible. I just I just have strange taste in things, you know? Yeah. And I, I can't wait until we get to like some movies that I know you're going to be like, ah, a hundred percent. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to whine and complain and be like, what is happening? I don't understand what is happening. I'm going to need you to explain some of these things to me. Oh, I'm I, the, those, I'm, those I'm ready for a couple of movies come to mind right away. Um, we always say we kind of wanted to get our feet under us first before we hit kind of what, what I would consider like really important movies mm -hmm. to us. Yeah. So I think we'll get there, but appreciate everybody listening. Anything else, Sean? Nah, man, 13.5. I think we rocked it. I'm looking forward to more 0.5 episodes. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. I'm using 0.5% of my brain. <laughs> it's been uh, another great episode of In Madness Pod. Take care, everybody. <laughs>